I'll say like the first legit <laughs> episode because last last season was again much more like a recap like they always do this season, but yeah, yeah. But typical first legit. my hero episode zero stuff. Yeah, so so yeah. I guess the first thing I want to ask is like, what do y'all think about like Cox and like how I don't know like him having to infiltrate League of Villains? Like it just seems to me it seems so obvious like that. Like, who, why would you ever want to trust Hawks if you're in, if you're a League of Villain person? Like, I don't know. It seems so obvious that he's he's not really there to help you out. Mm. Uh, unless there's more that we just don't know yet. Yeah, I, I can't say anything since I <laughs> read. Oh, the you read the manga. Okay, never <laughs> yeah. mind. Well, you yeah. Try well, no, I'm, still, you... I'm still interested to hear your guys' what are your thoughts on Hawks about him. Uh, um, I, mean, I, just, I like Hawks. Go ahead, Brian. I think he's a cool character. Agreed. But like yeah. the whole the whole thing of him having to like infiltrate League of Villains, like Um, I mean, I can understand like them choosing Hawks of all people to like try try to be a double agent because I mean to be honest, he looks kind of sus to begin with. Wow. It's not even, just, not even wow. that, but he also kind of mentions that th- there's not many heroes he actually looks up to. because uh, he he actually likes um um Endeavor. Endeavor. Like Endeavor, which Endeavor really hasn't been seen as like a popular <laughs> hero. Um it, oh, they yeah. showed us like a like a like a like a little bit of uh kind of Hawks' backstory as well. It doesn't seem like he has like the highest um highest thoughts of like a, the like the typical hero. So that so that could also play play a part of it. Yeah. I mean they they did hint like this man like has his own like agenda and he'll do whatever it takes to get it done. Mm-hmm. So I think kind of want to know what his like personal goals are. Well, I think he was too saying too how um he doesn't like again he he doesn't like um the way that heroes are in the society where it's more about being a celebrity than helping people. So like like a lot is what his one of his lines like like think about the long term goals. So I think he's like I think he's trying to like yeah change that about like the hero society. They try and make them like more help helpful people and so just celebrities. What's the thing with? That's the thing with uh, Endeavor and All Might because they basically both took it as a job instead of uh, for cele- like the celebrity part of it. Even well, though All Might was still having fun with it, <laughs> I think All Might. Well, just, I'll, I'll say I think All Might. I feel still, like has obviously a much more like he's more know. of a, the justice, like the the, the stereotypical he, hero yeah. hero men- mentality. Like he just wants to save people. Whereas I right. think Endeavor is it's like he just saw it as, I think he saw it as a competition. And he just want to be yeah. Endeavor just one. wants to be number one and be right. you know the iconic hero that's remembered for well all originally. Of time. <laughs> I, I think originally, originally, but now it's like, but now it's like with Endeavor, like he's kind of giving like getting like his own like personal like uh his own personal what is it uh I'm so, like okay so like Endeavor in this episode I know he's trying hard to atone but I still I'm still taking the side of like 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 Todoroki and like his brother like I just still see him as like the assholes like who basically like like. Put his family their hard time just to get yeah. what he wants. Uh, it's hard to just well, you know I mean, reinsert yourself. I'll oh, go ahead. Yeah, I, it's like that man didn't wasn't the greatest father. We have a lot of that <laughs> anime. Like, no. I don't think I don't think and, like years of shit that he's done, and now he's just trying to pop back in and be like, "Hey, we cool?" And hey, like, nah, you know, we, I, we ain't yeah, cool. Like, like <laughs> I, he's I don't know. Effort, but yeah. go, sorry, go ahead, Brian. I don't know any family that like. <laughs> Is like, yeah, sure, open arms, like, welcome back to the family after right. literally physically abusing your youngest son and your wife. And oh, everybody, I think nope. everyone else. And yeah, yeah, yeah they did they they said something about their another older brother, yeah, yeah, Toya. Like, was that always a thing? I don't remember him, I don't remember him either. I don't think, I don't think we ever like mentioned him. Like, was that like the first... I think they've been he's been mentioned, but you haven't seen like him in any flashbacks or anything. Because like, he, has, he, has, he has two sisters, right? Not just the one that was at the table. He has another sister, doesn't he? Or is that just her? Dude, they I don't have... remember another okay, sister. Okay, never mind. They are just remembering wrong. Yeah. No, I could be <laughs> wrong, too. So I'd have to double but... check on that. But yeah, as far as Toya goes, I think they've only mentioned him in name in the past from an anime aspect. But you have no idea kind of either what he looks like or what was really going on with him. Um. But the part that I really enjoy in that kind of interaction with the family is one, you know, the the older brother really kind of just saying what everybody is is feeling and, and not wanting to say because you know the the sister and Todoroki uh, are trying to you know more mend that relationship at this point, but they are the younger you know siblings. Um, the part that I really liked is when Todoroki makes the comment about Endeavor's scar, and you know it pans to Todoroki's <laughs> oh, yeah. scar, and he's just like, "Hey, nice scar." And it's just yeah. like, you know, one of those like subtle jabs. 
So yep, and um, it also zooms up on Todoroki's eye too. <laughs> yep, exactly. So uh, no, I, I thought that was great, and I, I agree with Brian's point of you know them really driving Hawks as this kind of you know even though he is in the number two spot. And, you know, we have all these kind of different viewpoints of what heroes themselves view to be kind of ideologic or, or justice and, and all these things. It, he'll definitely be kind of an interesting character to, to learn more about. Um, and what I, I also think is you kind of get a glimpse into the hero uh, society or the company that runs, you know, the hero organization that they're kind of, you know, open to do more kind of shady things as well. Because, you know, when Hawks get pulled in, he's like, you know, what do you guys want me to do? And they're just like, hey, we want you to infiltrate because we know that you're like willing That's... to do stuff that no other hero will do. I mean, I, I guess, yeah. I guess I just thought and he didn't have like... a choice. They're twisting his arm uh, like you're going to do this. Like... Yeah, I guess I didn't see it that way. Yeah, I just thought it was just a really weird decision just because like I just didn't think that like the League of Villains would trust like a high ranking hero like that. So it's just a weird no, decision. So I, I, to I totally agree with that. Like the logic of the League, you know, they're not idiots as we've seen in previous Meh. seasons. So it is it is weird for them to just be like oh yeah okay cool like we know you're the number two hero but yeah we'll let you in um so i i agree with that but i guess it, that kind of gives more credence to the interaction between dobby and hawks not being on the same page and dobby you know being like hey i just told you we were going to test out a nomu like you know i didn't tell you how powerful it was going to be and then from hawks's side they were like well we didn't know you were going to bring you know endeavor the number two hero so they're still both you know clashing pretty heavily of like they don't trust yeah. each other one yeah, so, bit. So it's like, good luck trying to get higher than that, because you're right <laughs> off to a bad start. <laughs> right. No. Um, no, I'm I'm just, uh, I'm a big sucker for, for Dobby as well, obviously from my profile picture and stuff, but... Um, <laughs> I uh, mean, he just seems like the most capable of the group, like, I mean... Yeah, same. He's I, the only one I care about in League of Villains. I think the, the rest of them are trash. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I, I, I mean, like, 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 I guess, like, you know, like, Tomura is like... He, his power enough is like he's still pretty strong but like it just seems like yeah i have all of it i just feel i feel like dobby's the most like menacing like i'd be the most scared of him yeah right so. i mean especially when he's he's remembering the uh the snack hero that he killed uh from last season and he starts just bleeding from uh his stitches oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a he's a freaky dude that's all i can say he's he's, he's messed up yeah he, he's really the only one i care about for league of villains <laughs> but uh well, no, what were your guys' thoughts on uh, Deku's involvement in the later half of, you know, going to this uh, I had to, quote-unquote vision remember, world? That story was the, nice. I remember I some it. stuff from, like, the last part of the last season, so, but there was more of that, and, yeah, I guess I guess this is how, like, you give him more power. It's just, like, just having him, like, constantly like, do, like, the flashback <laughs> of, like, the predecessors. It reminds me of, like, this Avatar, almost, like, like oh, yeah. you pass it on, and then you, have, you talk to your predecessors, and you're in that dream state. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. So can we say that he has massive airbending in his sleep? <laughs> I think that would be fair. I mean, what wasn't um, Gentle Criminals like power like the air the air stuff or the uh, Oh he's able to like vib vibrate whatever oh, that was like some well, sort of airbending, well, but Well Deku does his little flick flick airball things too, you know? Yeah, his air shots. Air shots, there you go. Oh okay. Yeah. Do you don't remember those? No, I remember those, but then he he basically woke up with his hand extended, and he did like a key blast in a sense with his with his hand open. So that's why I was thinking more airbender. Oh, I think or do. what it was was he he put his alarm at the wrong time, so he just grabbed that shit. And oh yeah, walked it through the window. He's like, Fuck out of here. <laughs> that right. makes, that was it. I like that. Relatable. I like that. Yeah. Relatable. Um, the funny thing for me was uh, I, I don't know why, but the voice of the um younger brother oh, of, was uh, awesome. one for all I, I never thought that would be the voice that they would use like that voice I, really bothered me actually yeah. i think okay yeah. i i don't remember like who it is but like, i swear i heard that voice before i swear he's like a main character in a bunch of like comedies or like like etchy shows i like, think that's why oh, it really fit. like he's, he's not Jeez. a serious character at all so like i swear that's why it bothered me too Is like i know this voice from somewhere and it's like it's a really it's someone who like does like not like serious voices so yeah, yeah, and it's like when you compare it to, you know, one for oh, all who has this deeper, more menacing voice, and then you completely contrast to his younger brother, and, and maybe that's why they did it, because they wanted to have such a stark, like, difference, but it, it obviously didn't work so out. So that I, flashback, I'm glad you guys felt the same of... Was that basically saying that one for all, he gave the power all... What was it? No, no, all for one, he basically gave that power to his brother. That's how it was created. 
That's what it looks like. So. Okay. I, I think it was. Well, I think it was. He was trying to give him a power that he can use, and then well, uh, something else happened in between. Well, they mentioned that he was like in a weak state. I mean, what right. what, what, what yeah, better like... quirk to give than all the, the All Might <laughs> one? Yeah, I th- I can't remember if they mentioned it in early season of like other flashback that we see between them, but uh, it'll, it'll definitely become more clear as we go okay. on. But obviously, as we see from one for all, like his main goal is to just use everybody to his benefit. Uh, okay. like, he doesn't say, really like, have yeah. like friends or assume, allies. Yeah, I just assume he gave him the quirk for it. Like, it's just I just was just noticing this a lot in anime. Like, I don't know if it's like always been there. Like, just just so many cults in anime, and just like when he was talking about how oh, like. Like these are my two two new followers, and oh, and they're just praising him like, "Oh, you saved me! I will follow you forever." <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, "Wow, there's a lot of cults in anime." Like, is, is I don't know, if this is a new thing or like, because we had a lot in the last season and some previous anime as well. I was like, "This is just very like cults are very popular things to have as a villain in, in animes." So cults and villain, uh, cults and religion, Churches. Yes. yeah, religion, yeah, religion, yeah. the big one, which, yes. which is basically cults, me too. So it's like. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying like, well, you're, uh, like I'm not wrong. You're like, treading on you know, dangerous territory, like, sir. Like a lot of the cults start off as like extreme religions. So. No, no, I will say in all the Yakuza territory. games, anytime a religion or cult is involved, it's always like <laughs> <laughs> those so, reasons of taking advantage of but, people like, and, but, and promising that, salvation. That's why right. I was like, like man, like these two followers just give a lot for this one leader who's gonna lead them to salvation. It's like my god. Yeah, I mean, they were that like, grateful. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like one dude didn't want his powers, another dude wanted powers for self defense. So it's like he gave them both what they wanted. It's yeah. like what I can the guy I do who to got powers look so like stupid. That? Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah. What do you like? I, what do you like? Brand, brand man? Like you got potato, brand, man? <laughs> it was legit. Like, potato <laughs> yeah, that's been <laughs> hanging around for too long. I got that's roast. so red. That is perfect. <laughs> but uh, 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 hey, hey, you know, if, uh, if he's excited about that, you know, whatever. I don't yeah, know really what self defense that is. Go into the ground and just start <laughs> growing roots. Oh lord! Attack from below. People. Yeah, I don't know. horrible people. Honestly, it's better than uh, I guess the guy growing teeth into his own, like back into his face or whatever that was. Oh yeah, that his parents were like afraid of him and all that. Yeah, stuff. I mean, I guess I'd rather have become Dude, the potato man. man uh... He was he was the jaw titan, bro. What do you mean? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. No, I just, he I just he didn't it. know. I just want to say it's it's people like you guys that make villains a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you, you can't just society. leave a man alone. Hey, bro. hey listen, Rise, I'm gonna be honest. Up, if there was if there was a villain, I would full heartedly 100 percent follow to the end. It'd be Stain, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Stain, yeah. <laughs> he is a pretty pretty unique villain. Yeah, Stain was still one of my favorites. But um, I was gonna mention but too, yeah, I think like, otherwise. Uh, oh, go I, ahead, David. Yeah. I didn't realize. Like, yeah, there was like I don't know. They mentioned this earlier. There was like was it eight or nine of the the passing on for um one for all i didn't realize the power was like that old like because i thought i thought the quirks were like a relatively new thing unless unless like people pass on like when they're like i thought i thought the passing on was like when I, actually no i think i was thinking of it as like when they're at the end of their life but i guess maybe like past like no, like, past, some, like they're, they're some people you, die you, before old age yeah you know, because, but they are still, heroes so even still i didn't realize like the powers were that I, th- I, th- I thought the part was more recent. I didn't realize we had like eight or nine, like passing ons already. So yeah, more the more point is like you know, world, like, not yeah. everybody's living the the same length of life, and I don't think we've seen enough either of like you know how quickly does potentially this power burn you out. Uh-huh. Um, or furthermore, it could also just be a plot convenience of like, hey, the more predecessors we have, that's the more that you know Deku can maybe do well, with typical shonen and try it just it just, it just everything too like if you're going back that far it's like like how old are like the like like you know all for one one and his brother it's like how like when did this yeah. all start of like their powers like where did this all like begin so maybe it began you know in zero AD right with Jesus Christ as the first, <laughs> first <laughs> okay but the power to the give her the people. quirks yes <laughs> Yeah. And, in this, and in this universe, twenty percent of them did not have that power because they didn't believe in the power of Jesus Christ. I, I, always, forget, I always forget that statistic where they're like, "Oh yeah, these twenty percent like either you know, don't like have percent." No, they said it was like it's a, 20, uh, yeah, it's 20, a pretty big percent. Yeah, yeah wow. it's a yeah. pretty big percentage. So it's kind of like when you think about it, you're like, surprised oh, the there's a lot of Deku's in the world. Yeah, it's not surprised Deku's yeah. quirkless. It sounds like he's like the, it sounds like he's like the one percent who's not. But yeah, right. That's definitely how they pitch it. So. But uh, I think otherwise, the last piece that they left it off on is the um, 
preview for the coming like uh, test between the two classes. Yep. Class A and Class yep. B. I will so, always take those in your academia. <laughs> again, I want I want to see more more team fights, more like team comps. So I I don't want it just to be just you know Deku, Toroki, and Bakugo running the show. Versus so. the world. <laughs> So, like, we have so much, like, people with unique powers. We gotta make use of it, so. And they're very, a lot of them are very, like, uh, specific, too, for so. certain situations. Actually, I was gonna say, too, the last, the first episode, I didn't, I didn't realize, like, Mineta could actually do something useful with his stupid great balls. So, useful. The guy has, the guy has balls that is, like, super glue. I mean, how, I, I guess I it's useful, guy. but. I hate the guy, so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I think he's, he's, obviously, he's obviously there for that purpose of either like you hate him or you're just there for the comedic relief of him. But the I, mean, uh, I feel personally the electric guy is much more better. And you always like, yeah, Genki, he's, yeah. he's the good comedic I mean, relief I or the belly Genki, button, sir. the belly button laser. Yeah. Oh, wow. God, the naval guy. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yeah. Good old, good old naval man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think, you know, we're in for. Oh, God. A lot of good stuff this season is all I can say. And it seems like, you know, they're they're back committed to hopefully not having any drops in animation quality like what we saw last season. So. Well, we do have another movie coming out, so. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the summer. Another movie. Movie. Yep, another Hero Academy canon? movie. I think it's filler. Probably not. Like they always been. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. It Maybe probably it won't be. Also, Maybe it's uh, canon. And, Bo- and Bones is working on another show this season, too. The Godzilla one. I think. Oh, that's Bones? I didn't know I think, that. I, I thought it was Godzilla Bones. One? Uh, it's called... Uh, oh God, Singularity Point or something like that? Yeah, yeah Godzilla Singular Point. Yeah, I watched that's the first, first episode so oh, far. Oh, that's the first time I heard of it. Okay. And, of course, I did not update my list yet with it. So I can't uh, I'll, find I'll, it right I'll, away. I was going to say, you know, Brian, when that third movie comes over here, you got to get your... Yeah, it's your, by Bones. All Might it back. I just looked it, it is. up. Hell yeah, you already know. <laughs> well, make sure you get the sub this time, too. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure we don't get the dub. because <laughs> uh, no. that was uh never oh, again. Uh, Justin, I don't know if you knew that, but like when we saw the second Hero Entertainment movie, like we actually bought tickets for the dub version, so we watched it in oh, dub. Oh no. That was not bad. Dub was actually not, not that bad, so it was fine. Oh that's good. Oh, yeah. Guys, but it wasn't that bad, right? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. No, it's better. I so I, I saw it subbed, but the sound system was like super fucked in the theater that I went to. So like oh. everything was like really quiet. So oh, what the I, okay. I paid an I paid an equal price. We just had a bunch of like mm. annoying high school kids like like just making noises. Oh, I, I had that in the first movie. Oh my god, the fangirls every time Todoroki or Bakugo showed up on screen. Well, well, the second second movie, it was like... second movie we had like Deku, Deku and Bakugo. Like fangirls came out too. So, oh yeah. man, I didn't, I didn't have as many problems in the second movie as I did with the first movie. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, it was fun. It was fun. I can, I can understand. Like, oh yes. yes like yes. for for their age group and what they're watching, it's like, oh it's yeah, like the equivalent. I, I... It's like the equivalent for us being like as old as we are like going okay, to a drag mall and Mr. getting Brian. hyped up no and getting no, hyped dude. up for like super saiyan and shit it's, right it's yeah, like going to like pokemon the movie for us when you know we're all younger and everything so oh, i totally yeah. get it yeah. uh, yeah. i'm actually happy for it like even though you know i talk shit about it but i'm glad to see <laughs> as you know we continue anime has become much more mainstream and you know oh, yeah. you get a wider kind oh, of yeah. group well, of people it's surprising that we oh, actually yeah, get remember... anime movies for once like right you know. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, back in the day, I remember getting shit for basically just watching anime. Um, and like, like, and this was like in middle school. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? And then now it's just like in the mainstream. That's for, like the norm. You're just like, yo, it's man, normal you, now. You know, you yeah. watch my hero. You watch Full Metal Alchemist. You watch, you know, Attack it's on awesome. Titan. Obviously, the biggest one. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you don't have to hide it anymore. <laughs> wow, Trent, I'm not gonna lie. Like, well, I feel like you hung out with the wrong people. <laughs> yeah, probably. probably. I probably yeah. did. But at the same time, it's harder to like, you know, like, re, you know, but, like, but at a certain point. People. Now, yeah. when you mention, you know, Attack on Titan, more people than before, you know, know about it. A much wider range. You'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah I've heard of it. They may have not watched true. it, but they're like, oh, yeah, I know. I've heard of that. Like, yeah. So. I've never watched it, but I know everything about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, have, we're getting way off. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have anything about this this episode or this season here at Academia before we get um, yeah. I don't know if you guys talked about last season, but uh opening and ending song for me is meh i'll give it a like Same. oh the opening Same. i'm for the season i Same. like eh. so I'm I'm very disappointed. i like the ending it, so. more the ending is still eh but it's yeah. it's better than the opening <laughs> yep 
but I, I'm liking Endeavor's kind of like where he's at least like a. I'm sorry, I kind of completely like missed that part, but like no, where he's no, actually where he's uh where he's like trying to like uh, amend stuff where he's actually like it's been, like he's doing his own like uh his uh god I, I keep blanking on the fucking word redemption uh, basically he has like his redemption arc like, he's actually trying like, I don't completely hate the guy now. Uh, and the thing is, like, when they're actually, like, you know, like, you, you're, like, almost yelling at him and everything else, like, like he's not, like, yelling back. He's basically taking it because he knows he's in the wrong. Yeah. So it's, for me, uh... For me, it's very hard to forgive characters. So, like, I yes. need more. So. But he's trying. Gina that's, can that's, do that's it. Yeah, too. That's I, more than I, a <laughs> lot of other, like, other characters that we've seen. Like, you, they're usually, sure, like, they're usually, like, I'm, evil from the beginning that, to the that's end. That's just but... me. Like, I, like, I am very hard to forgive, like, people for the action, so... Like, it's going to take a lot more for me. You're the reason why people don't care about second chances, David. <laughs> Ooh, exactly. <laughs> so, well, what's a dick? Always a dick. <laughs> not that. Just like, I need more. Mm, yes, so, that's that's going to be it for Hero Academia. We're in it there. So, <laughs> one of the big shows for this season. Get hyped.